Looks like I'm going to stick with this beekeeping gig, so I've decided that perhaps I better go out and buy some new boxes. And so I'm trolling through the internet and I found these um, paradise boxes, which are really cool, hard foam, crazy strong, light and cool. And I don't know, and they've got a really cool system with feeders and extractors and all sorts of cool stuff. And they're from over in Finland, which is obviously freezing friggin' cold. But I figured they're going to be awesome for up here because it's bloil and blooming up. So it's the opposite end of the scale, but it should keep them, keep the girls a bit insulated. Anyway, you've got obviously the sides and the, the, well, the sides and the top and the bottom. And it's pretty much all just interconnected. It's like uh, pretty Lego or Meccano, which is pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure, and I'm sure someone will tell me, but some people glue them and some people don't glue them. But, so I thought I would hedge my bets and glue them a little bit. <laughs> so, but anyway, so we've got some cool glue that says it's like styrofoam. And obviously you've got to make sure you get the bloody thing all the same way up, otherwise you're going to get a heck of a mess. So I just put a little bit of glue in there just for that. I did paint some before I glued them the other day and that was a bit crazy. And they can't really go together wrong anyway. So if you try to keep the same, keep them all the same, it's kind of cool. Obviously if you like, always face them the same way. So you, oh no, don't do that. As you can see, they go together pretty easy. And I just run a little bit along here. Then they've got these cool little supports for the ends so that uh, when you put your hive tool in there, you're not going to wreck this little bit of styrofoam. I mean, you can either put them on before you do the first join. Of course, the cool thing about it is it's almost idiot proof, so that's good for me. You can't really put it together wrong because it won't fit the other way. Obviously, it's early days yet. I'll put this all together in a proper layout and maybe I'll even be organised for once, but it's probably not real likely, is it? Anyway, and then we just slap that there and that there. Ta -da, ta -da. Cool, hey? And then obviously they just all stack together. So here I am in my lovely wife's backyard. She's very endearing, my woman. I don't know how she puts up with me, to be quite honest. I've decided to make this me paint room because it's kind of out. It's got a nice bit of protection with the trees and, and I figure the floor is actually cleanable with a lawnmower. So how bloody good's that? You don't even have to worry about drop sheets and mats and because over here, you see the other day when I was spray painting, the, the floor's already cleaning itself. So I reckon that's a damn good idea. And here's a little bit more Pinterest stuff. Or Pinterest, Pinterest, isn't it? So if anybody wants to know how to make a paint rack that doesn't cost nothing, you gotta find some old packing crates. And I had some old wood that I had laying around. Because I had these flat for a start and they were a pain to try and get painted with a spray gun. So I thought, well, I'll put them up on an angle. So I had like this, and I just nailed these bits of board to it. And then you've just got your thing that you can turn around and paint. You've got your lid. It's actually stuck there because I'm a high tech bloke. And it sits, that lid sits in there. And the leg sits in there. And you... I tried painting them before I put them together, but that was a pain in the ass because a little bit of paint, it was so perfectly designed that that little bit of paint made them hard to put together. So I found it's better to put them together like this and knock them, up, knock them together and let them sit. And as far as I could read, the guys say that it's not really about trying to preserve the styrene. It's about trying to stop the UV getting to the, to the bees because the styrene isn't 100% UV safe. So that's why we're painting them. And, and I think just it's gonna help them and they look aesthetically pleasing. And maybe I'll be able to have different colours for different strains or something like that. Yeah, I'm not get that far, but at this stage I've got, I've basically just got different crazy looking boxes that I bought from all over the countryside, so I know what's what. But if I have something uniformed, I guess I'm going to have to put numbers on them or playing cards or something. Don't know. 
I'm thinking I'm going to have green section, red section, pink section, and I don't know, idiot section. <laughs> Our friends in Finland have thought of everything because they're they've obviously they've obviously been beekeepers longer than me, which wouldn't be hard since I've only just started. Anyway, so here's your bottom board, and they've got this cool mesh. They use it for the varia beetle that they've got. Well, yeah, um, you know they've got a real drama going on over in the states and over there, and it's just supposed to help that. But that's really going to be really cool for us to keep them cool. So they actually, so they can ventilate. Ah, come on, behave. Ah. Obviously, want it bee proof, so that's a bit of entertainment. <laughs> ah. And then I reckon that should be pretty good. But you could get real excited and put a little, put a little screws in the corner. We'll see. Yeah. See what happens with that. I don't know. So you've got the nice mesh for summer, and then you get this. I think they actually use this to see how many um, varroa mites or hive beetles are in the bloody thing, which is a good, good idea too. But once you've got that set up, you can slide that in there to keep them warm for the winter. I think I might have trimmed that a fraction too much, but anyway. So now we better put our entrance on. It's pretty cool. It's just got these two little slides. So you can pick how much ventilation or how much... So obviously you've got full, full opening for summer and then you can close it up when it's cold or if you want to close it up completely you can close it completely for when you're transporting them. So you've got your little landing board, cool, so there's your bottom bit, then you've got your brood box. Yeah, it's nice and hard. Now, I would suggest that that sits, I wonder where that sits, where would you think that would sit son? Something like that. At the front. Like that. Aha! Look at that. Oh! That's fucking rocket science. Ta-da! One thing about it, I guess, is they break and wear out, you just buy new ones. Which would be cool. Um, then you've got your queen excluder that comes along with the kit. Pop that on there. You can get another bit that fits around here, which will give you another entrance, which is a really cool option. So I'll get some of them later, but this is just what comes with this. That fits in there nicely. And then we've got the, obviously, the first little honey super. And that'll just sit up there. Nice and convenient. Which I reckon looks pretty cool. I think that looks pretty good. And then you've got your lid. And another ingenious thing that our friends have thought of is you've got this is basically sealed for your winter lid and then when you're having a hot spell like we're going to have here in the riverland you flip it over and the girls can get some ventilation either end so how cool is that for an idea and i don't know whether there's actually another like bee friendly netting thing you're supposed to put across here or not i'm not really 100 percent sure about that yet i'm assuming there would be because you don't want to be don't want them building in the roof space anyway, although there's not much roof space there. Anyway, I thought that was a really nifty idea. You can't really see it, but there's some more of those, you know how we put the plastic on here. You can't really see it at the minute, but there's plastic there as well. And there for whether when you put the strap around it. So that'll be that'll give that lid a bit more support because there'll be a strap come across here to hold it all together. And pretty much that's where we're at. And next thing we'll do. Just chuck some ladies in there and see how we get on. Because I reckon they're pretty neat myself. Hell, I might even move in myself. I wouldn't mind living in paradise.